Alcoholics Anonymous was founded in 1935, and for decades, AA and 12-step programs have been the go, the go-to method for treating alcoholism and addiction. But AA doesn't work for everyone. Paul, what's been your experience with AA? Why do you think that it's not necessarily the best option for everyone? My experience with AA has been uh, very little, and that's kind of my point. I, I say in my book, I. Uh, I tried uh, very early on in getting sober, I tried AA and I spoke to a lot of people who were in AA and I learned a lot about AA and I just decided for a number of reasons that it was not, it was not the answer for me. Main, for a couple of reasons, one, um, the anonymous part didn't really work for me. A lot of, uh, I'm a writer by trade and, and I made a good career out of writing about being uh, a heavy drinker and so needing to quit anonymously was not really my problem and also didn't for me to be successful in quitting I realized I had to be as public in quitting as I was in in being an alcoholic so so it didn't work on that but I also just found a lot of it just there was a lot of religion uh, religious aspects to it that just didn't make much sense to me and there's a lot of talk about abdicating responsibility and accepting you're powerless and all these sort of things which I didn't really think I was powerless. I thought I was just bad at it. I just thought I was very, I thought there was powerless suggested to me that it wasn't my fault and that it wasn't me with a problem. It was, it was, it goes into this idea of alcoholism, alcoholism as a disease, which I never really bought into. So uh, I accept that it works for a huge number of people and I would never recommend to somebody who it's working for that they shouldn't use AA, but it just, it just wasn't for me. For some individuals, you just have to look within and determine what works for you instead of a group. Basically, my advice is is figure out what works for you. And, and all I could do and all I do in my book is sort of say, this is these are a series of steps that worked for me. And here is how I went about figuring out what those steps are. And and um, and, and here's how you perhaps can figure out ones of your own. And by the way, one of yours may be AA. I guess I wasn't part of the, the addiction world insofar as I was just someone who drank a lot. I didn't know. I hadn't read much. I hadn't. I just drank a lot, wrote about it, then figured out how to stop drinking. And. I didn't realize that saying there is an alternative to AA is tantamount to blasphemy. I have the only time I've ever had such pushback in my life as a writer, and I've written about some controversial things, is when I've written about religion. Mm -hmm. It was astonishing to me. I basically said, AA works for a large number of people. It didn't work for me. If it doesn't work for you, here's something to do. And I have never been called so many names. And also, I have never been told so many times that I was lying. Um, I was accused of still drinking. and I'm, I chose uh, I chose abstinence. It, uh, it's interesting to hear sort of alternatives and everything else. I chose abstinence, and I was accused. Well, well, first of all, I was accused of being a dry drunk. I'm still not really clear what that means, but I'll I'll take or in it. Denial. Yeah. It sounds yeah. I was in denial, and uh, you know, people like oh, before the end of the week, he'll be drinking again. I I was had my book extracted in the Wall Street Journal, and there were 600 comments. About 599 of them were from AA people saying, oh yeah, well he'll be drinking by the end of the month. Uh, we've seen people like him all the time. And first of all, I thought, well, given the success rate of AA, I'd hold off on that judgment there. Um, but second of all, it was just baffling to me that, a, that a, a group of people who I thought were all about recovery and all about, it seemed were actually about making you part of their special gang. And their special gang used to be people who drank, it's now people who don't drink, but it's still a special gang like a religion. And, and like a religion, if you don't believe, it's not just believing in the same thing, it's believing in the same thing in the same way then you're pretty much going to the alcoholic hell.